Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and in today's video I'm going to be talking about a brand new mod for Paul World that I've recently been working on, this being an Aim Down Sights FPS mod. It does, as the name suggests, when you aim down sights, it gives you a first person camera angle. The point of this mod is to build on a mod I made prior, which was a FPS mod overall, and to really give it more of a specific use case that I think most people are using the mod for. So, with no more delay, let's just get right into this. So, as I said in the introduction, this is a mod that is chiefly designed for people who kind of wanted a binoculars or a photo mode for Paul World. As what it does is it builds on the existing first person mod, but uh, kind of exemplifies it in that it only really uh, focuses in while you're aiming down the sights of, for example, something like a musket, or really just holding down the aim key, which is going to be your right click. While you're holding down right click, it is going to uh, switch that first person camera angle, which can let you get some really good screenshots, really good footage, or whatever you may use it for. The other use, if you're not someone who's looking to collect screenshots or footage or, or all of that, you don't exactly want a binoculars mod. Uh, it also works pretty well at rectifying some of the aiming issues. If you aim in third person, the the way the crosshair works in aiming is that it is stationary on your screen, and it doesn't exactly reflect where your aim is actually going to be going. Um, and one of the problems that that exists with is when you are in third person or in the normal mode of follow-up, sometimes your shots seem like they line up and they may be off. This mod, the camera angle is specifically put where it is to compensate for that. That it should, in most cases that I've seen, perfectly align with where you're aiming. Um, and that's also part of the reason why this isn't, when you see the ADS, you think aim down sights, you think aim down the barrel. And uh, that's, that's why I chucked the FPS right next to it. So it's when you aim down sights, you get FPS. You don't get aim down sights proper. Uh, the reason you don't get aim down sights proper is because of the way Paul World handles aiming. Uh, if I were to move the camera, which proved to be extremely difficult, behind the um, reticle of like things like the musket, even if I were able to figure out how to get it to, to perfectly align, the reticle would not align. And as of such, you would need to use just the gun to aim, uh, which may have a whole host of issues. And I think really as a user experience would be a lot worse. So instead I went with this model where it's you, you can aim in if you choose, uh, but it also works for stuff like binoculars and, and that sort. To enable the mod, you simply need to click on the center click button or your mouse scroll, just click that in. Uh, and then you can aim in using right click, as I said. It will disable the second you stop aiming in, uh, aiming in on right click, uh, leaving you back to the normal third person mode. I do not recommend if you're using the mod to disable it entirely while aiming down sights. So do not click the middle click button while aiming down sights. I don't recommend it. It sometimes works, but most of the time it just causes a bug. Instead, I would just recommend uh, ending your aiming by taking your finger off of the right click. Uh, once it's back in the normal camera angle, that's when you want to disable it. This is especially true while you're writing things like Paul's. Do not disable the mod. There are a lot of issues in this regard. Uh, just because of the way it handles getting back to the normal state, if you disable it in certain ways, it's not going to take it very kindly. But all in all, this should work most of the time um, from what I've done bug testing wise it, it doesn't seem to have as many issues as the first person mod had on release and if you're someone who sat through this entire video going well this is cool and all but i'd rather just have a normal first person mod that's already been made i'll have a link in the description just just go get the first person mod if that's what you prefer personally i prefer the first person all the time mod but uh, some people are asking for binoculars so here you go uh that's that's all from me today uh this has been chris Rebeast. hope we all enjoy this mod but until next time see ya